Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ripon. I am a full stack software engineer. Today I am going to talk about arrow function. Before that, let's first talk about function. What is a function? Functions are one of the fundamental building blocks in JavaScript. So a function is a JavaScript procedure that means a set of statements that performs a task or calculates a value. Let's take a look at some examples. I have a setup here like index.html and index.js. Okay. And this is in the browser. We can see the console log uh, in the console window. Like uh, if you press F12, you can see the console. So at this moment, we don't have any log. Right? So let's first define a function. Function is a func which takes two parameters x and y and it return the sum of the function okay then we have to call the function so we want to call with 2 and 3 right since we are using console log to see the out output so we have to use console dot log and save it if we now refresh the browser we'll see the result which is 5 because 2 plus 3 which is 5 okay now if we remove the function name which will become an anonymous function right so at this point it is throwing an exception because it needs um, it needs to be assigned to a variable let's give a variable name let's say sum okay and if we console the sum refresh the browser we can see it remains um, same result now let's talk about arrow function arrow function were introduced um, with ES6 as a new syntax for writing JavaScript functions. It saves developers time and simplify the function. Okay, so in arrow function um, the parameter list and the function body is separated by the arrow symbol which is this one. So in this function if you see uh, this is the parameter list and this is the function body okay so in arrow function parameter list goes before that arrow symbol which is in our case let's say x and y and function body goes after that arrow symbol which is let's say um, return x plus y right and since it is an anonymous function so we have to assign it to a variable let's say sum um, since we have already one variable with sum let's say as sum then we can console the log with the same value and you can see the result so in in arrow function if it has only one statement then we don't need to use return statement not only that if it has only one statement we can also remove that curly braces okay now save it refresh the browser we can see the same result 5 and 5 right okay so we can define something like this so this is a parameter list then arrow symbol then statements 
one, right? Okay, now let's talk about like um, if we have more than one statement in the function body, okay? Um, so what I want to do is like I have more than one line of statements. Let's say x equal x into 2 then x plus y. In this case we have to use return statement like this one. So let's keep it like commented and if we refresh we can see 7 because 2 into 2 4 plus 3 which is 7 okay so far so good um, what about if we have only one parameter in the parameter list okay let's say we have only one parameter which is let's say x and then we want to do the same thing we have more than one line of statements so we need return a statement and also curly braces right so we have only one parameter now save it and refresh 4 because 2 into 2 4 which is works okay what about if we don't have any parameter at all okay on that case we have to use um, empty parenthesis like this so we don't have any parameter in the function parameter list then let's say we want to return something we have a variable var x then we want to do some calculation or something let's say we got a value which is 10 then we want to return it the x value if we now refresh the browser we can see 10 okay um so if we have only one parameter like x on that case we can even uh, remove the parenthesis like this so if we have only one parameter in the function parameter list we can use uh, only that name that parameter name we don't have to use like parenthesis so that is like more simplified version right we can see that let's say uh, we are passing the parameter x plus 10 refresh now we can see 12 in the console log okay and same thing applies if we have only one statement then we can remove the re return statement and you can also remove these curly braces but remember if we don't have any parameter then we have to use empty parenthesis okay um anonymous function can also return object literal okay so now let's try to return an object um, from um, the arrow function so i'm going to create one more function let's say any object equal i'm passing a parameter like name and it will return uh, an object which is empty object right now let's log it my object and we can comment it out for now save it let's go to the browser refresh the browser and you can see it is undefined so um, the only caveat is that the, f the body needs to be wrapped in parentheses in order to distinguish between a block and an object that means we have to wrap this object in a parenthesis now let's see now we have that object which is empty object right okay 
although we have like um, um parameter we can also eliminate the parameter for now so that uh, I can see it is an empty object okay let's say we have now parameter first name then in the object I want to give object property name which is first name and value is the parameter which is the first name so I'm passing parameter ribbon my first name then let's see so if you see we have an object now it has a property first name which is ribbon right similarly we can pass like um, uh, more than one parameters last name so uh, let's do one thing okay first name last name value is from the last uh, name parameter let's say full name which is first name and last name right so I have to pass the last name as a parameter now let's see if you see we have now that object which has first name last name and also full name so this is really a cool feature isn't it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you like this tutorial then subscribe this channel and you can also write your comment in the comment box I'll see you soon with another topic till then happy coding